Mega Man X was an outstanding game. Taking the classic Mega Man formula, enhancing the graphics and action, giving you more abilities, and adding somewhat of a story to it. What we got paid off, for we were given one of the most rockin' titles on the Super NES. How do you mess it up? How about you take away everything that made the first game memorable, and bring little to no innovation whatsoever. And as such, Mega Man X2 is born. It feels like a cash and sequel. Oh wait, it is one. It has as much innovation as a ROM hack. The first game had a lot of memorable Mavericks. The only ones I can recall off the top of my head in this one, on the other hand, are Crystal Snail and Wire Sponge. And even then, that's only because their names remind me of Spongebob. Jeez, Meta, I thought that you were going to say that they're memorable in a bad way, but no, instead you were in the fact they remind you of Spongebob. And speaking of which, while I can see why Spongebob's name would relate to Spongebob, what does Crystal Snail name have to do with Spongebob? Yes, Spongebob has a pet snail named Gary, and he's a sea snail, but they don't call him something like Gary Snail in the show, but, and when did Gary's name ever have to do with Crystal? I'm sorry, but that analogy was so stupid, I had to play a nostalgia critic clip. Outside of that, their abilities are incredibly forgettable when compared to the first game. First off, you just need Crystal Snail and Wire Sponges or all of the matter weapons in this game. And secondly, how can a weapon be considered forgettable? I mean, sure, when a weapon is left in the dust, it can be considered forgettable, but usefulness is the main attribute of a weapon, not its memorability. Their stages aren't as well thought out as the first, basically they left a lot to be desired. I guess someone agreed with Arrow Dragon 2 when he said that Wheel Gear stage is pretty forgettable. And when you said left a lot to be desired, do you mean just the stages or the entire game? Even the music is unmemorable. Uh huh, yeah. While I personally enjoyed the music in X2, I don't know that your opinion. Or at least I would if you didn't place Arrow Dragon Audrey the Desert Base on your top 15 Desert Fiends list. There's always an exception. And just to let everyone know, the part where the song is placed is still off. The story is also bad. Not only because they somehow brought a certain character back, despite being turned into nothing in the first game, but they also brought in three of the blandest side villains seen in a long time. Mind giving us some example of bland side villain prior to 1995? I wouldn't mind asking that if you didn't say seen in a long time. The X Hunters have flat personalities, little impact on the story. Okay, I agree that the X Hunters personalities aren't to write home about, but their main goal of the story is to tell X to retrieve zero parts from them before luring him into their base. Granted, their room the Spiral Day can be easily missed, and I will admit they didn't do much during the game, but still. Besides, Capcom had to put new characters in the game, because if it's just the original cast, it would get boring. Unless it's a remake. And one more reason they'll contain spoilers, so go to this time frame if you don't want to be spoiled. They are shoved aside near the end for the sake of bringing back Sigma because regardless of there being a new take on Mega Man, we still need to reuse our main antagonists instead of making new ones. One thing I'll just say is that Sigma should be lucky that you didn't play all the X games. If you did, Dr. Y would have gone off scot-free from your redux of your most hated characters list for good. Also, his name is not Mega Man. He's Mega Man X. I know that's what he said in the game, but X and the original Mega Man are the same characters. I can understand if you don't have time for research. But for someone who can get the names of the stage theme of the classic Mega Man songs right, would it really kill you to do some research about Mega Man and X? Or you just can't be bothered since you lost interest in the X series? Oh, foreshadowing by the way. And as for using new villains, well, there might be some gamers who complain if a sequel didn't stay true to the original, so the developer had to use some of the original, reusing character included. Besides, even though the side villain you just mentioned got shoved inside near the end, at least, they still got made. I'ma fucking kill you where you stand, Sonic. You fucking <laughs> die! Otherwise, this is a game that ruined the X series for me. I want you to keep that sense in mind, cause I'm going to bring it back up. Since this game was bad, X This here is the reason I wanted to commentate on this particular video. He firmly believed that since he's doing a countdown that had to find this point game, then he had an excuse to rip on X2. Look man, if you don't like X2, that's okay. But here's the thing. You're acting like you first played this game in 2016 or 2017. You first played the game in 2012, and you didn't have any times where you said it's bad. Don't believe me? Here's the X2 thing about your 2012 games list. To be honest, I seriously don't know if I love Mega Man X or if I just find it okay. It's pretty unmemorable at times, but it can still be really fun. It has what a Mega Man X game should have. 
fun music, great graphics, and levels that look absolutely wicked. The Mavericks are also pretty neat as well. I don't think I need to say anything else about what you previously said about X2 in the past since the footage I've shown pretty much speaks for itself. I know that time changes and so your opinion, but if your opinion going to change, at least acknowledge your previous opinion. I mean, as much as I agree really that your about segment on your most hated viewing characters list received, at the very least, you did acknowledge that Battle used to be awesome before you think you lost the charm. Here, you didn't acknowledge your past opinion on X2. I'm sorry, but I personally think that changing your opinion without acknowledging your previous opinion is a huge no-no. X3 was actually worse. Oh yeah, history doing with X3 is kinda the same with X2 in the past. He fought with an OK game too. I will have shown you the segment on his 2040 gauge list since he first played X3 in 2014, but I'm not seeing he bring, briefly brings up X3 here. But I will say that just because you know how to game doesn't mean you should stay the same for its sequel. X4 was pretty OK, and would have been great if it weren't for the voice acting, which by the way is worse than nails on a chalkboard. OK, two things meta. First off, X4 was released back in 1997. And English voice acting wasn't a noble thing in video games back then. Secondly, unless you're a story room guy, you don't have to watch the cutscenes. You can just merely skip them. And that's what I did in almost every of my playthrough in, uh, of X4. Also, nails on a chalkboard? Are you even trying to find an decent analogy with how bad X4's voice acting was? Because nails on a chalkboard is a generic analogy for anything with terrible audio. But I haven't played X5 and on, so I wouldn't know. Wouldn't know what? Their quality? But if what people say about them is anything to go by... Well, I beg to differ. I thought X5 was an awesome game. Can't say anything for X6 though. Haven't played X7 or X8, but I heard the form is a pile of gunk and a lot of things are an improvement. Though not by much. Also, I'm not counting Command Vision since while it does look interesting, it's an RPG. And that means the first X is the only good game in the X series. Wait a minute. Not a moment ago, you said that X4 was an okay game and now you say that the original X was the only good game in the X series? I'm sorry, but remember when I say that hate and dislike aren't always the same thing? Well, this could be an opposite. Okay is basically a low level for good. It may be a low level, but it still means good. Unless you're trying to say that X1 is the only game in the X series you can call awesome. Given that the X4 is more than ruined ruin the game for you, I'm sorry, but that still sounds kind of hypocritical. When a game sequel not only fails to innovate, but also ruins the series as early as one year after its first game came out. Since you apparently suffer from a sort of memory loss like Judge by A428, I'll show you what you said earlier. Otherwise, this is a game that ruined the X series for me. Otherwise, this is a game that ruined the X series for me. 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 Hear that? If you think that X ruined the X series, that's your opinion. But don't say that X ruined the X series without addressing that as your opinion. Otherwise, people will see you as a hypocrite. And I'm gonna end this video here. The rest of the video is just him proving his point that X2 is number one on the list and announcing his top 15 Darkest Zelda moments list. And now, our final thoughts. Well, for what you claim to be a wonder of countdown, it wasn't really that good. I mean, it was off to a pretty good start, but as you go on, this is just sort of went downhill. First off, while you bring a lot of good points, hence why I skip most of this video, some of your points are kinda stupid. Or at least, make you sound stupid. I mean, do I really need to bring up the fact that Crystal Snail reminds you of Spongebob? Or are you using a generic analogy to compare X4's voice acting? Though what have to be a big problem this list, at least for me, is the number one entry. I wouldn't mind so much if you didn't state the fact that you thought it was a decent game in the past, at least in the drinking segment, you did state the fact that you had fun the game until you found it boring, but the number one entry? Nothing. No indication that you thought the game was fun before you start losing interest. And the way you sounded in that entry made you think you first played a game recently. Like I said before, you first played a game in 2012. My point is, if you no longer like X2, that's fine. But it really felt to me that you only made this list for so far of bashing it, and not probably elaborating why it was such a letdown. Phew, that was a tough ride, but overall it was kinda fun. Like I said in my last commentary, if you think my point are valid, make sure you point it out in the comments, or better yet, do a commentary on this video. Anyway, I'm gonna stop commenting on Meta's video for a while, I'll be still be commenting on him, but for now, I'm gonna take a break from his videos. However, my next commentary is still gonna to have to evolve. If you're wondering what it is, well, you just have to wait and see. Until then, this is Ron Anime 25, thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time!